Yeah, welcome to my channel. Okay, we are asked to find the value of n. If 4, 5 in base n is equal to 1, 0, 2, 0 in base 3. So how do we go about this? So you are giving something like this. This is normally a popular wire question. What you need to do is to convert both of them to base 10. Once you are able to do that, your answer will come out. Now, the question is, the big question is, how do we convert from, from a base to base 10? Now, let us do this together. First of all, let me introduce you to conversion from another base to base 10. As when you have 1, 2, 3 in base 4, okay? And you want to convert it to base 10. What you are going to do is multiply each of them by 4. See what you are going to do. 1 times 4. Just leave it for me like this for now, okay? Plus this 2 times 4. 2 times 4. Leave it. Plus this 3 times 4. 3 times 4. Now, from now, you start adding the powers of your 4 from 0, okay? So this becomes 4 raised to the power of 0 from the back. 4 raised to the power of 0, 4 raised to the power of 1, 4 raised to the power of 2. Now, having done that, all you need to do is to work on this bracket. How do I mean? 1 times 4 squared means 1 times 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16, right? So you are going to have 16 here. Plus 2 times 4 will give you 8, right? Plus 3 times 4 raised to the power of 0. We all know that any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. Okay? Except 0. 0 raised to the power of 0. Some say this 1. Some say this what? Undefined. But apart from this, apart from this, any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So it means that 3 times 4 raised to the power of 0 means 3 times 1, which will give us 3. And when you add this, whatever you got is your answer in this 10. Okay, so let us apply this now to solve this particular question we have here. Okay, so we have that 45 in base n is equal to 1020 in base 3. So first of all, what do we do? Like I said, we need to convert both of them to base 10. Now let's use the same idea that I just showed you to solve it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these two in base in base 10 so this and know that this time around our n is our base here so we are still going to use convert this to base 10 is going to be 4 just leave it first plus what 5 times n 5 times n i will now start adding the powers of my n from 0 by the right okay n raised power of 0 1 we are through with this so let's this one is going to be 1 times 3 right 1 times 3 Plus 0 times 3, 0 times 3, plus 2 times 3, 2 times plus 0 times 3, 0 times 3. Now we start adding the powers of right? So this 3 raised to the power of 1, 3 raised to the power of 2, 3 raised to the power of 3. Okay, let's this same thing as 4 times n raised to the power of n, n raised to the power of 1 is n, right? Plus 5 times n raised to the power of 0 is 1. Any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So we have 1 here. Is equal to 1 times 3 raised to the power of 3 is 27, right? 3 raised to the power of 3 is same thing as 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is what? 27. So we have 1 times 27 for this one. 0 times 3 raised to the power of 2 is 9. Anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So let's know what plus 0 times whatever is 0. Plus 2 times 3 raised to the power of 1 is same thing as 2 times 3, right? Because 3 raised to the power of 1 is 3. Plus 0 times anything is 0. So we also have 0 for that one, okay? All right, let's continue. So we have 4n plus 5, one, 5 times 1 is 5 is equal to 1 times 27 is 27 plus 0 plus 6 plus zero but before i continue this level it means that you are truly enjoying what i'm doing okay so i would advise you click on that subscription button and also on your notification bell so that you will be notified any time that i upload a new video okay so in essence i'm saying you should subscribe so that you gain access to my video anytime i upload a new one all right let us continue so this 4n plus 5 is equal to 27 plus 0 plus 0 plus 6 plus 0. So we have that 4n is equal to 27 plus 6 is going to give us what? 
So this implies that 4n plus 5 is okay. Implies 4n. I want this 4n to be on its own because we are looking for n. So this 4n is on its own now. So we are going to write this text 3 that is here. Then this 5n we cross over to meet this minus 5. This plus 5 we cross over to minus 5. We have that 4n is equal to 3 to give us 28. Right? So we are looking for the value of n. So how do we get it? If I divide here by 4 and here by 4, because that is the only time that when I say 4 divide 4, I'm left with n. Okay? So 4 divide 4, I'm left with n. Then 4 divide itself here, 1. Divide 28, I have 7. Therefore, it means that our n is equal to 7. That means that 25 in base 7 is equal to 1, 0 base. Three. All right. And bye.